Now let's up our ante. We've passed the guard. When you're in the guard, oh, it's about 50-50. When you pass the guard and you go cross side, that ups you up to about 80%. Now you're on a scale of 1 to 10, that's about an 8. Okay, But we still want to get up to a 10. And the reason why is as follows. Okay, come on in. Big Brad, lie down. If I am cross-eyed on somebody this big and he does oopa me, watch what happens to me. When you oopa me, Brad, don't even wait. Just pop right up to one knee and go straight to your wild guns. Okay, so when I'm here like this, and break. Okay, so this is how quickly a fight can turn bad. Let's analyze this for a second. Lie down, please. Brad is on the bottom. I'm feeling real good. I'm on the top. Then the moment he opens me, the fight goes bad. Right here, one roll. Go to your guns. And I'm in trouble. Go back. So by the time he arches his back, I went from, a, from an eight to a two. This is why we mount. So if now I am cross side, and when I mount and I have my hooks in, now if he opens me while I'm biting his face, go ahead. Now I can continue biting his face. He's just as screwed as he was two seconds ago. Good. So what we want to do is we want to up our position. And then that will complete the flow on the first side. So you start from the guard, you stand, punch the balls, you go cross side, you bite, you mount, you go back to your bite again, and then he flips to an upa, and now the other side gets to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a couple of my guys, and we're gonna show you the complete flow. We call this a sombrata flow pattern. I borrowed the, the process from Filipino Kali, and we integrated it to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, teaching them to flow quickly, and then we threw in the biting and eye gouging. Stick with me. Mm -hmm.